All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Movie Talks and Chill. We're your hosts. I'm Tony Serrato. I'm Gavin Butts. I'm Patrick Wall. And Gavin's back. Welcome back. I am Gavin. not Doug Sherhart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not or Doug however Sherhart. you say his last name. Sherhart. Sure, T-shirt. T shirt. T shirt. <laughs> he's going to call up. I know. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. His phone's <clears throat> ringing right now. Wait a minute. <laughs> I know he's a big supporter of this podcast, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't listen. No. <laughs> hey, everybody listens. Yeah. yeah. Everybody listens. If you don't chew Big Red, then fuck you. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we're back now. Second episode of the year. Uh, last week we had Haley and Doug with us, so that mm-hmm. was really fun. Thank you guys again for joining us. Um, that was a fun episode. Yeah, it it would have been better if you were here, too. No, I, I, I agree. I wanted to you know keep everybody safe. Enough. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Gavin caught the Rona. Yeah, the Rona. The Rona. He got the vid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Rona vid. The Rona vid. The Rona vid. I want to it know makes how it much... sound like a new disease. Let's yeah. not do that. <laughs> I want to know how much they actually paid Corona did to, to try and get that removed. Could you just take Corona out of the virus? Yeah. <laughs> I don't care how much it costs us. <laughs> but then they're like, but we all have, we have these 300 other thousand diseases with Corona in it. Yeah. They're like, well, we but, don't care we, about those. We just want the 19 gone. Yeah. yeah <laughs> just use not, COVID, man. Just yeah. Stick with COVID. <clears throat> so we're back now. Uh, so this uh, episode, uh, Gavin, you kind of came up with the idea. So I'm going to let you introduce it. So we're going to go through, um, because there's several of, of these out there, but um, weird movie predictions that... Quote either unquote. have or may come close to of coming true. And we're leaving out the Simpsons because we know that, you know, they believe in time travel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Matt Groening has the DeLorean. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, he's, he's got the time, uh, the time cop ship in his basement. <laughs> yeah. He's got the TARDIS in his attic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want a TARDIS. <clears throat> I guarantee you he's got the phone booth from Bill and Ted. There you go. <laughs> Which is, if you look back at that movie, it's basically just an umbrella frame that's yeah. the top antenna mm-hmm. so way to go on props <laughs> and when you're working <clears throat> on a budget hey yeah dude yeah. probably cost them five hundred thousand dollars to make that movie and then became a lifetime staple making billions and billions of dollars yes they even had a cartoon yep. that's right i forgot about that and a sequel 35 years later i mean all those well <clears throat> before we get into that topic though speaking of that the side noted that you had back to the future had a cartoon Hmm. Bill and Ted's had a cartoon. Beetlejuice had a cartoon. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters had a cartoon. That one was awesome. It yeah. was. The real Ghostbusters. Yeah. So, you know, because there was another Ghostbusters cartoon. That's why they had to add the real in there. Yeah. And even when they made the original movie, <clears throat> they were almost not able to use that title because there was an old serial or old TV show. That is what the other cartoon that they made called Ghostbusters was. Mm-hmm. And it was so stupid. It was <clears throat> two guys in like an ape or something. Oh. And, yeah, they were like paranormal investigators. So, and that cartoon came out around the same time because they made it Ghostbusters. And it was about those guys, like, nephews. It was Jake, Eddie, and I can't remember the ape's name. Tracy, maybe? But then they had a car that was a ghost. <laughs> or the, there was a ghost inside the car that got it around. So then when they made the other cartoon, <laughs> and they had to call it the real The real. Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> Just so you know. <clears throat> so anyway, side note. But... Back to predictions. So, yeah, um, we obviously know the movie 2012 didn't yeah. come true. <clears throat> or did it? Oh, excuse Is this me, our 2020. Hell? Yeah. Is this our hell here? Yeah. I'm not going to lie. When all the predictions of the world ending in 2012, that freaked me out so much, I didn't watch that movie until 2013. But you were. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stupid Mayans. <clears throat> what was it, December 12th? That, yeah, yeah it was, it was something like that. So it was supposed to be based off the Mayan calendar and also yeah. the December twenty first, which is the uh, the start of the winter solstice mm-hmm. and you know the Coriolis effect, the Earth and spinning and. Psh. You're gonna break out into song now. Um, I thought you were gonna start singing Aquarius. <laughs> I am an Aquarius. Thank you. Uh, no problem. <laughs> How did you know? I did. Know. Was it because I like long walks on the beach? Yes. <laughs> Deep, thoughtful conversations with a glass of wine. Would you like to play a game? Yes. <laughs> That's why he doesn't listen to us after this. Yeah. He's like, this is not deep, thoughtful conversation. Here. <laughs> yeah, he turns off his phone when we're not here. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, so. <clears throat> so you have a list, right? So I have a list that we're going down, and we can change a, a, to another list. Um, some of these 
we've um, <clears throat> gone through we, a couple. Of them. We went through a couple of them. Some of them we agree with. Some of them we're like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" Yeah, so, I have a little <clears throat> bit of a twist on this. So if you tell us the movie, <clears throat> Tony and I should try and guess what they're trying to predict, and then okay. you can tell us how we're wildly wrong. Yes. Okay. All right. Because one of them, screw you. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> No, the list, not you guys. Oh, I was like, <clears throat> maybe later. <laughs> Dude, I told you yesterday kicked my ass. I'm not doing anything today. <laughs> so here we go. Here we go. Star Wars. <laughs> okay, so what, what wonderful Star Wars tech do we have now? Uh, well, robots that move mm, around. Yeah, I mean, Boston Dynamics. <clears throat> Amazon's got basically every robot in there. <laughs> hey, you design some things and you have robots everywhere. Yeah. So, I mean, you do have robots, I guess. Yeah. I don't think Star Wars really said they created them, but... So, the the, <coughs> the reference on this list that they're going through is holograms. Oh. So, you can have a, essentially a 3D image mm -hmm. of, of either a person or an object that's doing, like, you know, they recreated Tupac so many times and put him on stage. I mean, he's still doing concerts, being <coughs> dead, what, 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but their but their holograms are more talking about like they're, they're able to actually talk in real time with the actual person, right? So technically, yeah. well, we have Zoom and stuff like we that. We do have it's, Zoom. It's not a hologram version, but it is a digital way to speak to someone. But isn't that what they're trying to do with Meta? <clears throat> yeah, have yeah. those virtual conferences and yeah. and then you put the VR headset on. Yeah. Well, Meta's trying to do everything because they know their main idea is going down like a the Hindenburg. Um, I don't know if it's really going down. It's just actually just kind of getting taken over by the government, even though they already took it over anyway. Yeah, <laughs> government. But anyway, what I'm upset about Star Wars is that we don't have actual lightsabers. Yeah. Damn it. Or space wizards. I want to be a space wizard. Yeah. 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 I want to use the... Send me to space Hogwarts. <laughs> space Hogwarts. <laughs> Good job there, Captain Kirk. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can't think of really <clears throat> much else that, that would say that they created there in, in our real life. Mm. All right, what's up next? Thank so you. let's go uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Well, I mean, they are. there is ways now to track... Well, there's been ways to map out someone's mind through like... Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, MRIs? Yeah. Or, or mm. cat... Like cat certain scans. scans. Yeah. But I can't remember which, but there is one where, the MRI, where, where they, they ask you a question yeah. and they watch it light up. Yeah, and they'd be able to find the synapses mm -hmm. and which things are, and be able to map the brain. They don't put that big thing that Egon <clears> made <throat> on his head? No. There are wires on it. But I think also, because I'm trying to think, but they were, I mean, in Eternal Sunshine, they were basically trying to erase things, find, yeah. find so pinpoints trying to, to erase, erase. Uh, heartbreaking uh, <clears throat> memories. Okay. So what did they... So this is uh, talking about discovery. That, um, they're talking about real world uses of this. Uh, discovering and, and our, how we've gotten closer to soldiers' PTSD mm -hmm. and ways to cure that. Oh. Functionalities mm -hmm. of how to cure. Um, that's the big thing that they, that they discuss on the list. Okay. By, I mean, they, they also by have targeting things. and erasing individual memories of events inflict, uh, that have inflicted... Uh, heavy emotional trauma. Okay. Here's the million dollar question about that though. So Ooh. if you start, if you start erasing memories in real life, yeah, everything we do is part of what makes us who we are. I was thinking now. the exact same thing. So you're almost altering technically what someone could potentially be, and maybe <clears throat> not always in a bad way. Like yes, those things may drive somebody to accidentally kill somebody. That would be bad. Mm. Or themselves. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's bad. That's yeah. a bad thing. <laughs> um, but you could also then, if they use that as a life experience to help other people, what if they didn't then help that person in the future? That could alter. Then you get like a butterfly effect type so, thing. So my first thought is, have you, have you ever heard of the thought experiment thesis is shit? Tony? I, I, I've, I, I've heard the name. I don't, I'm not so familiar with it. So it's an old thought experiment. A ship leaves a harbor, and during the course of the board, they, yeah, I do they know have to the, yeah. replace one. And then yeah. the question is, at what point is it not the same <laughs> ship that left the harbor? And it's the same thing. If, if you delete memories, at what point, like how many memories until you're a completely different person? Yeah, yeah. We had a, something similar on another episode we were talking. I think it actually might have been at the film festival with Shane. Mm -hmm. He threw out that like 
mind blowing question. I can't remember oh, what yeah. it was, but it was very similar. I think I meant. Oh, it was about it. it was about um uh like implants and stuff and like sounds yeah. very Shane esque. Yeah, <laughs> but you remember he was talking about like you know you were like replace- bicenten- bicentennial yeah, man. Yeah, you start replacing things and it's like well technically if you have like a pacemaker and then this and then that in your body it's like mm. at what point are you not the same person? Yeah. So, or uh, what's that other thing they always say it on on Big Bang Theory? It's that physics question. It's uh, the, uh Schrodinger's Schrodinger's cat. cat. Yeah. <clears throat> until you open the box and yeah, until you well, open the box and see the cat either. is alive and dead, dead at, at the, the same, same time. time. Well, have not had it. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That sounds right. <laughs> that's a that's a <clears throat> good boy. <laughs> I love how they debate. Like the whole episode, they're debating three different tenses at the same time. <laughs> well, have had it. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> Well, it's also that old theory that a lot of people bring up. Like, if you go back in time and kill Hitler, mm. like, what <clears throat> could have spanned out based on that? So right. that's kind of where I'm thinking of, even though you're curing some... I would say, in traditional psychiatric... Now we've become a medical podcast here. Yeah. A medical and psychiatric podcast. For the record, we are not trained <laughs> yes, medical we, professionals. Yeah, we are not licensed. <laughs> or or we could, you could even bring it back to freaking Endgame. We didn't even like, say Why don't we find a baby Thanos night. and just... Yeah. First off, that's terrible. Yeah, it's that's Thanos. horrible. It's, <laughs> it's Thanos. Yeah. But, you know, the traditional way for psychiatric medicine, the actual traditional is to cure, and by cure, or at least treat. I should say treat and potentially cure by dealing with the situation, mm-hmm. not by getting rid of it. Right. Like, they want to get you past it, but, you know, you have to understand that it happened. Right. So... That's a, that's a, yeah, that's, I don't know. I don't know if I like that taking away PT. I mean, I like it for, for the people. I don't want people to be in pain yeah. and suffering, but at the same time, it's like, I can kind of go the other way too. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think also, so for that part, like, you know, PTSD and a lot of the trauma stuff, there's like a trigger. So maybe it's not taking away the trauma that happened because you can't really, but you mm-hmm. can work on how to not have that trigger actually set that off. Yeah. Hmm. that's the part you're taking away. Yeah. And that, that comes more from just acceptance exactly. and, treat and yeah. treatment of it. Yeah. There's so. actually a great episode of the West Wing that it um, goes into the, the triggering of PTSD and how it affects them. Mm-hmm. So if you're a fan of Aaron Sorkin, I suggest you go watch it. It's in season two of the West Wing. Yep. And also, just, does. just for the record, PTSD doesn't necessarily mean just <clears throat> military. Yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, you could have like rape victims and stuff I got, like that. And I got people... diagnosed with a very mild case of PTSD from a car accident. It's mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. something like that can just happen. Every time a Volkswagen comes by, I piss myself and forget who I am for a half Actually, hour or so. <laughs> there's a reason why I don't like driving in the rain anymore. Okay. <laughs> you, you see, over here, it's fine, but if this gets dented, my hair just, just ain't going to look, look right. right. <laughs> <laughs> and over here's nothing, but. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know if I want to go down this hill, not between my, me and my brain, but a piece of government plastic. <laughs> you really think it matters? Eddie? <laughs> oh, great movie. So what do we got next? What's the so next, next one? So next, we have The Terminator. Okay, so there's no, re- that we know of, there's no time travel in real life. Um, that, or no. do we? <laughs> Let's all agree. If somebody here invents time travel, I'm still for this from the Big Bang Theory. Yep. Some of us <laughs> invents time travel, we come back to this moment right now. And meet ourselves. Okay. Damn. That's a bummer. <laughs> That's a wait, bummer. we haven't launched the recording yet. Yeah. What if they have to wait till Wednesday? <laughs> <laughs> we all just show up here Wednesday like, damn it. <laughs> but then technically Wednesday would have already happened and then they would have come back now before the recording. <laughs> oh, stop. Because <laughs> they're in the future. So they would have already seen it happen. I have a twitch now. I swear to God, I, if anyone knocks at that door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's three of us standing yeah, here. You guys are so lame. <laughs> yeah, you guys are stupid. Are you guys way. still doing that dumbass podcast? <laughs> hey, did that podcast make us a bunch of money? And they just start laughing. <laughs> <laughs> they go live in their cardboard box. <laughs> hey, hey. It's a refrigerator. Exactly. <laughs> It's the creme de la creme of the actually, actually, what it'll be is me, me, Patrick, and Doug will be showing up in the door. He's like, it finally happened. <laughs> <laughs> it finally happened. Hey, Gavin. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> where, where am I? Actually, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, where am I? It's like, I actually, it'll be you, Doug, and Shane. Like, I won't even do <laughs> <Yeah>. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, uh, guys, we want to tell you. <laughs> 
All right, so what do they say the Terminator gave us to realize? So let's see. Well, no, was it we got to guess. We got to guess. Oh, well, <clears throat> it wasn't robots. <laughs> it wasn't pump action shotguns. It wasn't time travel. What's recently come out that's caused a whole big ruckus? Oh, that's right. AI. Hmm. <laughs> Skynet. There is actually a I company s- called Skynet. Yeah. Somebody's I, I, making it. I'm like, why would you do that? Why yes. you, yeah. You're I, just testing the face on yeah. it. Yeah. I passed one of their cars and said to Snapchat to my buddy. He's like, some son of a bitch actually did it. <laughs> or engine. Hmm. Like, no. Unless it's an insurance <laughs> <Yeah>. company. No. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be a good idea for a freaking insurance Or company. you're a mechanic that's a really bad speller. <laughs> you can call your company Engine. <laughs> well, and tech, so besides AI, though, we do have, again, going back to robotics. Because that was the whole thing. I mean, they were all initially just, it was basic robots. That did right. Basic functions. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we have Boston, Boston Dynamics. Well, with their, that, uh, you know, you, you, know could take, army. you could take Terminator and also um, the Matrix on that. Yeah. You know, that it was the one consciousness that became self aware mm-hmm. and then Which created its AI own. AI overlord dystopia would you rather be in the Matrix or Terminator? <sighs> the Matrix. I kinda gotta go with Terminator. I don't wanna be in a vet of goo being used as a battery. But you don't know that you are. Yeah. That's the good part. So <laughs> The afterlife is waking up in a tub of goo. Like, I don't want that life. You're already dead. You don't wake up. <laughs> and you have, to, and you have to pull that big tube yeah, out yeah. of your mouth. And no. it's like, it's That's the horrible. thing. is like, because when they, like they say in the movie, when your brain dies, if you die in the Matrix, you die in the real world. Mm-hmm. So you don't wake up in the you real just world. Flush you just flush your corpse. Die. Exactly. Now, I'd rather be on the battlefield fighting robots. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> Lame. Put you with the hard head on. Yeah. <laughs> Saving Private Ryan over here. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so we so, got AI. So AI and, and, and cybernetics are the big things that uh, that they talk about from that we've pulled out mm. of, of um, Terminator. Okay. And I mean, you can even say cybernetics as like, you know, they have, um, you know, those robotic hands now for like amputees. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That you can, you know, open and close and it's like muscle, kind of like muscle memory that you have. Mm-hmm. Yay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, Star Trek for The Voyage Home. Well, we don't have a probe. There's no probe, alien probe that we need whales to you know talk to. Um, mm. Let me see. Is it specifically that one? Like, is, You read it. Don't tell us yet, but is there something specific in that exact movie, or are they just in so general using Star Trek? So it goes, we wish the version of time travel depicted in this fan-favorite Star Trek sequel involves slingshotting around the sun mm-hmm. in a stolen Klingon ship was real. Make this happen, SpaceX. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just someone, like a blog. Somebody's like, hey, I want this to be real. Right. <clears throat> so... Um, I'm trying to think of like what they did in there. Uh, well, confused with 20th century currency. Well, I do remember. I don't know if it's an actual thing anymore, but I do remember in that movie, Scotty goes back because they need to fit the the Klingon ship to fit the whales, and they needed a thick enough glass or, or a thick mm. enough material that they could ship them in. And they went to a, a factory of some sort, and he starts typing in this thing, and oh, yeah, he's invent trans- something like transparent aluminum. Mm-hmm. Is that a thing? He's transparent that's aluminum what thing. They're, that's what. Uh, yeah. Wow. Oh, man, yeah, look on at me. this guy. Because yeah. he's trying to talk to the computer. He's like, "Hello, computer." He's like, he picks the mouse. Up the mouse, and he's like, "Computer, hello." <laughs> <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> just use the keyboard. He's like, "How quaint." <laughs> <laughs> like, and he's like typing like this real fast yeah. for a minute. <laughs> and he's like, transparent <laughs> aluminum. Yeah, that's what he's like. Uh, uh, so this film helped, quote unquote, invent. On 1986, Earth become a real actually became a reality on the planet in 2009. Oh, thanks to the scientists at uh, University of Oxford who bomb- bombarded regular aluminum with powerful X rays. <laughs> so the next time someone asks you for where they can get enough transparent aluminum necessary to house two humpback whales and tons of water around their spaceship, now you can help steer them to the right direction. <laughs> Nice. All right. Oh, that's, the killer. that's killer. Uh, well, you guys are probably going to get this one right off because we talked about it before, but it's it's good to go ahead and talk about The Running Man. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
We yeah, we already talked about that. Yeah, one. So yeah. Why, don't, just, why don't you just tell them? Because so then, so the Running Man, their premise, smart. their premise that they're saying <clears throat> is uh, this was the basis and it was created as Survivor, <clears throat> which I disagree with because no one ever actually dies on Survivor. They just we stay on of. the freaking island. Yeah, and I don't remember anyone voting for anything in Running Man except for who they were going to send to kill. <laughs> yep. And so if Survivor had crowd participation as to what the next challenge was going to be, then we could say Running Man. <laughs> well, that's kind of where the Hunger Games come in. Play. Yeah. Because Hunger Games, they could kind of help out people or like they, they would do right. votes and they would have to get their, they get people them. like them and stuff. Yep. And or, mm. uh, what's it, What was the term they used for it? Sponsors. Uh, been, sponsors, yep. It's been so long <laughs> since I've seen those movies. Yes, I'm going to uh, try to uh, go into this game where I could kill somebody else or myself. Would you help me? <laughs> yes, please. Please send me a gun. <laughs> May the <laughs> odds be ever in your favor. Sorry, kids, you got to go kill each other now. <laughs> yeah, this was. Um, they were saying this. Uh, this movie takes. Uh, I didn't even know this was based on Stephen King. Uh, but movie takes the concept of reality TV to a very uh, exaggerated rated R place. Hmm. Yeah, All that's right. pretty exaggerated. The uh, sick so, part is people would probably watch that today. I would watch that. Oh, movie. easily. Easily. I would it's pay a, money. It's American it's Gladiators, sick. but instead of tennis balls, it's actual bullets. Yeah, <laughs> I would watch that. And a, a hockey goalie with a sword at the end of the stick. I would love it. There's nothing you're saying that I don't like, and that's weird and rare. <laughs> rare and weird. Zero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why they would just send Mortal Kombat characters out to kill you. <laughs> Get over here. Oh, okay. God. All right, what's up next? So next we have <laughs> Die Another Day, James Bond. Um, everything hey, that, that the, the CIA one. uses. <laughs> yeah, hey, basically. That I mean. was the one with Halle Berry, right? <laughs> um... I don't remember. Or is that the one with um, um, Charlie Sheen's ex-wife? What's her name? Denise Richards. Ter yeah, Denise Richards. No. Okay. I think you're right on it. I haven't really... I'll be honest with you. I have not seen every James Bond movie. Mm -hmm. And this might be one of the ones I have not seen. So do you know what... They yeah, if predicting? I'm thinking of the right movie. So it's... Um, it's how do we explain this? It's a guy who wants to take over the world, obviously. But he had a so every other Bond movie. Yeah. yeah. So he had a procedure done to change his identity, but because of the procedure, he can't dream. So he has to spend time in a dream scene, and then he has an igloo or like an ice palace fortress, um, and then there's a cool car chase on the ice, and he flips over okay. the jaguar so by about, using the ejector seat. Think about the cars. Uh, one was a jag, and it had guns on it. But did they do anything special? They had guns on it. Okay, so well, did the not, Batmobile. Not, not <laughs> Twisted Metal. <laughs> the original. The first time. Um, fired rockets. Okay. You're not going to get it. No? Okay. So this is, in this movie, they had cloaking technology. Oh, that's right. To it where they could do, turn the cars invisible. Okay. So it is called active camouflage. And for years, various militaries around the world have been working on a version of this cloaking on their tanks. While they are nowhere near the level of invisibility active to the Bonds Ashton Martin, we're getting closer to the version that brings Bond's gadget oh, into true. real life. The bad guy was driving the drag. <clears throat> he was driving the Aston Martin. But technically, they should just call G.I. Joe because they perfected it in that movie. Well, uh, and also, like, if you, if you take into account like how planes are made now, like a lot of them, like the design on them, like the Raptor and mm. even like the Stealth Bomber, mm. like the way that they're designed is so that they're invisible on radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah, you can see them sitting on an airfield, but if they're in the air, you can't see shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I heard they were trying to do that with planes, like putting cameras on top of the planes and putting that to on project, the, on the yeah. bottom of the planes so you wouldn't see them really going through the sky. That's, you know, that's basically just like uh, great whites. That's why their bellies are white. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Did not know that. That's their... Camouflage. Well, then, Did technically, you... if that's what they're talking about, they invented. Technically, Wonder Woman invented that first, so the creator of Wonder Woman, because she had the invisible jet. Touche. Yeah, but that movie came out first. Yeah. In the new Wonder Woman, she doesn't have the jet. Okay, The Abyss. Yeah. Mm. What's what? The Abyss. Oh, hang on a second. So I know this. I know this movie very well. I'm trying to think. Um, of deep possibly sea, deep sea submersibles. They predicted super deep sea, like the the submarine that. Um, 
the Avatar guy used to map out the ocean. What's his name? You, James. James Cameron. Cameron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the submarine guy that did Titanic. The Avatar guy. The Avatar guy. <laughs> that, that did, wow. That had the, the submarine, submarine guy, guy who, when he I, made Titanic. You know I like it. I like it. First um, off, that was Bill Paxton in the submarine. But <laughs> Hey, you know, you know what else James Cameron directed? Aliens. There you go. <laughs> had to get it in for 2024. <laughs> <laughs> Episode two. We're already back to it. <laughs> yep. And we're back. Well, the only thing I can so, think of is because in there, I do remember they did that one thing with that had to do with the scuba. So basically, it was the liquid that the liquid or the liquid oxygen. Yeah. So basically, he had to swallow it, and he right. was able to breathe mm-hmm. underwater. Liquid so a different, ventilation. Yeah, liquid ventilation. Yeah. So that's what they're saying is that uh, you know they've recently made um, advances and to be able to go to extreme depths. Um, in recent years, people have made uh versions of the tech depicted in the movie in 2017 however german researchers published the process of liquid ventilation via a complicated but innovative testing process so it probably drowned 18 people (laughs) here's hoping the tech is perfect perfected before the super judgmental aliens of the abyss decide to pay uh, pay our oceans a visit they also, At the end of the movie, they left, so I'm not worried about them. So another... In the movie. <laughs> it's not in the movie, but, but speaking of that, and it's not the same <clears throat> procedure, but they, they did it, and some scientists were watching the episode, and I think have said it is possible. It's an episode of that show called Scorpion. Did you ever watch that? Uh, like, watched a couple <clears throat> episodes. Yeah. yeah, all those like super geniuses, basically. <laughs> Homeland Security hires them to fix problems. Yeah. There's one episode where this kid is on the beach, and he goes in this cave his mother told him not to go into. Mm-hmm. that has got water. Shocker. And basically the cave collapses, <clears throat> and the water starts filling up. So the main character Walter goes down there, and he's basically, they're trying to get him out, but they don't have. It's not going to have be enough time, and so what he does, he comes up with this. And this, I I watched the episode once. I have trouble with it after because it's just like imagining what would be going through your head. He basically gets an oxygenator and brings tubes down and puts two needles into the kid's arms or one in each arm, mm-hmm. so and it's, get oxygen and into it's, the it's, blood. It's flowing the blood back and forth. But he said, when the water goes ahead, he's like, do not breathe. He's like, and he's like, I have to breathe. He's like, no, your initial instinct is going to be like, open your mouth, open your nose, because you're going to be panicky. He's like, you don't need, you just need oxygen, which is what you're getting right now. So the kid, they had to sit there, and it keeps showing it back to the scene, Mm -hmm. and the kid's just staring underwater. And I'm like, I would, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I, I don't think. I but eventually, do the machine, something happens, and it gets broken or something. Some kids <laughs> end up drowning, but they end up getting them oh. out and you know reviving them. But because the machine stuck. Oh, I was gonna say a real cheery ending. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. They get them out, but that was their whole thing until they can get like a crane, all the machinery. Mm. But it's different theory. But they were saying that yes, if you had an oxygenator in there. You huh. wouldn't need to open your mouth or nose to breathe in and out because you would be getting oxygen. Your blood, that's what you need. I mean, but it's our initial. We've been doing this for yeah. since we've been alive. That's your initial instinct. It's your, so. Yeah, it's your reaction. Well, it's just same way on you know. I guess when people get hooked up to ventilators, you know, yeah. it's just a machine working the lungs. Yep, getting mm. that oxygenation process. What a fun thing to have happen to yeah. you! Yeah, yeah. All right, let's move on to the next. Let's make me sad. Would have had it. Yeah, would have had had happened. <laughs> had not had happened yet. Dick Tracy. Oh. Everybody knows this one. Phone watch. Phone watch. Text messages. Easy. Thanks, Apple. <laughs> yeah. We say that me and Gavin have analog watches and Tony doesn't wear any. Yeah. Mine's at home. Stupid. Well, it's only right twice a day. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get my fix. Uh, I don't even want to go through Ghost in the Shell. What is the... What is theirs? Because I've seen that movie like three times. <clears throat> nothing that they do in that movie seems to be linked. I have not were... seen any ghosts in any shells. <laughs> it's, it's The shell is the body and the ghost is the soul. So no, it's no. about transferring your consciousness to other shells, basically. No, I've seen the movie. I'm just oh, okay. I was the just... closest tech we have to the majors is the pro- uh, product of a team of Japanese scientists known as Retro Reflective Projection Technology. So it's no, they're talking about being, a, being invisible. 
Oh. Again. Everybody wants to be invisible. So RPT fabrics act like those Bushy. worn by the major, Thank and there's you. a prototype coat that allows its wearer to essentially go invisible by blending into their surroundings. Harry Potter had an invisible cloak. <laughs> There's a YouTuber, I, a YouTuber I follow. She says, if anyone chooses a superpower of invisibility, you're automatically a pervert. Because that's the only reason why you want it. So? <laughs> and it's funny because a lot I'm of I'm not saying she's wrong. I'm just saying that's, that's what she says. A lot of people do that. But then you have all these other sad, lonely people that are like, no one ever notices me. I just yeah. want people to notice me. So why would you want to be invisible? You're already invisible. Stop it. Stop it's the it. the plot of a Buffy the Vampire Slayer episode. A girl yep. feels like she's so not seen yep. by everyone, she actually <laughs> becomes invisible. Yep. <coughs> I remember that one. It's a good one. Or, you know, X-ray vision. Hmm. But then you'd see everybody's. Yeah, I don't want to see everybody's. Oh, well, well and technically, all you're going to see is their actual insides. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to, it's not like you're just going to be like removing clothes. Yeah. It's not yeah. x ray vision. That's like, I think people really don't understand what x ray <laughs> vision is. Do you like to see human skeletons? Because <laughs> you're about to. <laughs> oh, you've got a pacemaker. I think this episode should be called like WebMD. Right? Yeah. <laughs> like, this is not true. You cannot see. All you're going to see is all their bones and some musk and, you know, muscular tissue. <laughs> or, or a girl's got <clears throat> implants. You're like, ha! I knew they weren't yep. real. <laughs> you lying little bitch. <laughs> right, I can only think of the movie True Lies where Tom Arnold and Arnold Schwarzenegger are going into like their secret headquarters mm-hmm. and there's like a giant x ray machine monitoring as they walk down the hallway. Okay. You see their bones and yeah. everything in the, in the, in the briefcase, the, and the, guns. the guns. Yeah. Tom Arnold's skeleton is a little bit bigger than. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Going back real quick, one other thing I remember uh, from, from Terminator, I know they didn't mention it in there, but the, the hovercraft type ships. If you remember, like in the yeah, the hunter killers. Version. Yeah, mm-hmm. we have those. We have we have ships that land that way now. They do, mm-hmm. which so. we've always had that though. Yeah, the Harrier like the jets Harriers have been around. Yeah, have been around for years. But yeah, but were um, they around when they Terminator were in came out? the original? Lives, actually, um, when the original Terminator came out, I want to say so because they. Uh, we have the power. Maybe of human I'm not knowledge. sure. I'm not sure when they were like successfully invented and, and tested. Okay. That was just a thought, so we can move on to the next. What do we got? I'm going to say no, because True Lies was after the Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> in, in which the Terminator does fly a Harrier. Both directed by James Cameron. <laughs> the first flight I'm was not made... bringing that. I'm just saying they were both. True Lies was done by James Cameron, too. You're right. Um, it, was, um, it was thought of in 1957. The first two prototypes that successfully made flights were in 1960. Okay. Oh. Okay. So Terminator stole it from them. Yeah, bitches. <laughs> so now we have uh, another Stephen King movie, The Lawnmower Man. Never saw it. That one's easy. That's just virtual reality. Yeah. Although that one was different because that was virtual reality to make him smarter, to increase or change things. Like and he was like, a, I don't know if he was make, maybe autistic or, or something. He had like some kind of um, He mental, just was very low IQ. Diminished yeah. mental yeah. capacity. Yeah. Yeah. Because he was functioning other than that. Or I think right. I think they called what just what's that called? Like high functioning or something? Uh, yeah. Or low functioning. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, but he was using that to increase his intelligence. Yeah. I don't know if we've gotten to that ability yet. Now Not we yet. just go to school and college and yeah. stuff. That's really our version of it. Not gonna lie, I did try osmosis once, it did not work. But technically, nowadays you can go into virtual colleges. Yeah. You take school virtually, which does increase your intelligence because you learn things. So I guess all right, I'll give it to you. Ish, we'll get sort of. <clears throat> That's yours. <laughs> Everybody gets one. <laughs> <laughs> tell him, tell him, Peter. <laughs> and so then, yeah, we move on to Super Mario Brothers. Okay, so I don't have King Koopa. <laughs> we no don't King have a, an interdimensional portal, uh, portal. Not that you know of. That's true. That's why I always keep that one, one door locked in the back. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for reading this one now. <laughs> Kevin feels sick again. I do. <laughs> he caught corona. It better not be anything about those uh, rocket shoes. No. Okay, I was going to say. Was it like the it's about evolved pre- gun? It's about predict- predicting the demise of the two towers. you got to be fucking kidding me. Yeah, move what? on. Yeah, uh, next, I, that almost sickens me. Yeah, that's why I was like, I don't even want to read this. <laughs> and you read it. Now, <laughs> and, now, and now we it. all share in your pain. Thank you. I have PTSD <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. We can erase it. Yeah. <laughs> I've got some great herbal medication for you. <laughs> we'll just we'll just delete that on the podcast. <laughs> um, next, we have the net. Oh, that's easy. 
Well, they, the internet was already around when that movie, so I don't know what did they take away from that um, hacking. So, it's it's more like the the uh, I, it's going into identity theft. Oh, okay. okay. Because that's basically what they did to Sandra Bullock. That's they true. Essentially, yeah. just erased her from mm. everything. I mean, they because, did that in Hackers too, mm. when they were betting against each other who had the best mm-hmm. hacks, and they kept on messing with that FBI agent. One they like took all his money away, mm. and the other one then finally hit the like the ultimate the, how they scored him to win. They like cl- declared him dead, <laughs> and he's like, "I'm right here. <laughs> I'm obviously not dead." <laughs> oh, they also they also put out a personal ad like on, on, on a homosexual site or something. Oh, okay. so he, at, at the at his office, he kept getting calls. He's like, "You want you will not do that to me." And he picks up. He's like, and he phone rings again. He picks up. He's like, "Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> What's wrong with you people?" <laughs> No, I will not touch you and tickle you there. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. I just like in that movie how she clicks on like a little pie symbol and it takes her to a GeoCities site for what looks like an outdated rock band and apparently now she's wanted for murder. Nice. <laughs> yes, the pop-ups. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they really invented, the pop-up ads from the net. There you go. <laughs> okay, so moving on, we go to Cable Guy. Cable yeah. has been around for a very long yeah, time, and we so disg- have quirky installers. Yeah, but Jim Carrey was a little bit more than quirky in that movie. He was yeah. a psycho serial killer stalker. I think he was just movie and show, TV show obsessed. Oh, well, God. <laughs> uh, what they're... I'm sitting next to Jim Carrey. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so they're saying that Jim Carrey's uh, character predicted... Um, he successfully predicted smart TVs, streaming online games, streaming... Home uh, shopping networks, basically, him taking every aspect of what could be on cable then mm. and now not even needing to have cable, but have it cast, streamed, or whatever mm. to any device that you wanted. Oh, I've only that seen the movie part, once, so if he predicted that, good on him or I mean, the writer. I least. mean, I, I just I remember him getting <laughs> uh, getting you know the hooker. <laughs> it's like, don't worry, man. Next time it's on you. Yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> I pay this time, you pay next time. Yeah. yeah. It's like, that was a hooker. What? <laughs> like you, you think a girl like that's going to hang out with us? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> next one's on you. Yeah. <laughs> we go to another Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, Total Recall. Oh, well, that's uh, terraforming. So living on Mars. But They're already trying to do that. But we haven't done it yet. Though. Wait, we're trying to. Well, we could try a lot of things. I mean... <laughs> So I'm going with terraforming for that from that one. Let me let me recap the movie in my head real quick. Give me two seconds. And the seconds. good one, not the one with. Yeah, not the Colin Farrell one. Oh yeah, yeah. no no no. Uh, let me see with here. The space elevator. It wasn't even space. Oh, yeah, it was the Mars elevator. I mean, they they made they up just, the. They just flipped it in the core. <laughs> <laughs> That's another like mind messing one though. Mm-hmm. Like we already a couple of their movies like. Not not for this part. Not for this one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think of what else there is. Uh. I had that big thing in his nose that he had to pull out with those pinchers. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, well, you also had the girl with the three boobs. That was boobs. a tracker. Yeah, well, that's just called an abnormality. I mean, there, are, <laughs> there are people with three nipples. So. Yeah. <clears throat> um, <coughs> trying to... Th- I'm trying to... Like, I know the whole movie. I'm just trying to think of what else would have come out. I mean, electronic cars or self-riding cars? Because they did have the taxi that drove. Mm. That's what it is. Oh. oh. So it's the... That was random, right? The Johnny Cab drivers resemble Google's self-driving cars okay. that have come out, which will hopefully soon become a consumer-friendly as the Prius. <laughs> Still can't believe they didn't take away terraforming from that movie. I mean, how are we going to terraform? But we haven't they're terraformed yet. They were, they're working on it. We're doing yes, but we're we doing enough to kill yet. this planet. Yeah. Well, he's Why do we need not, a new one? About other planets. I no, he's, yeah, terraforming others. Like, yeah, we can't fix the damage we've done here. That's why yeah. we need a new one. <laughs> I'm staying here. Earth 2.0. What, are we going to Alpha Centauri now? The Titan. <laughs> yeah, the moon of Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the next one? <laughs> next one, The Truman Show. Oh, okay. This one's pretty easy. Yeah, yeah we, we, we discussed this one off reality TV. It's reality TV. Yeah, that's what they've talked about is TV shows like Big Brother and The Bachelor. Where you are filmed and scrutinized twenty four seven. The only yes. difference is we, the actors on those, the people on those shows, know they're being filmed yeah. every yeah. moment of their day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Shout out to Jersey Shore. It was a guilty pleasure of mine. I still can't believe you watched that. <laughs> so I, I want to see. I want to see where this one runs to. Enemy of the State with Will Smith. <sighs> I have no idea. Give me a second. I'm running mm-hmm. back through the movie again in my head. I mean, that had somebody slips some tech into his shopping bag, and then he's wanted by the government. Government tracking. Or trackers or IDing? It's about tracking. <clears throat> tracking they're taking it. They're yes. It's so almost like cookies and, and cashew data and stuff like that. So here, uh, even even better, and because we've all experienced this, ever seen an ad on your computer or your phone for something you mentioned in conversation that was within earshot oh, of yeah. a smartphone? Is anybody on Facebook? Because it's like yeah. it's the number one thing that pops up. I could take Tony's phone right now and say cat, 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 cat. I'm food, allergic to cats. cat food, cat food, cat, cat, food, kitty litter. Stop and then... saying that to my phone. <laughs> the problem is my phone could also hear this, and my cat just passed away. I don't want to see that. Shit. Yeah, nice going. Yeah, would it be a dick? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Couldn't Fine. Have said any other animal. Fine. Right? Don't worry. Hey, here you guys go. This will cancel it out. Tranny porn. Tranny porn. Tranny porn. No. <laughs> I don't want to see those ads either. Now, good luck. At, good luck bringing up Instagram later. Turn your safe search <laughs> back on. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna burn my phone. Yeah. <laughs> I miss you. Yeah. I miss you. Oh God. Okay, so yeah, that makes sense. The algorithm my my dating apps are really gonna shift, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Why do I all of a sudden have a lot more likes? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, she looks pretty. What? Ish. What do you mean? Her name is Jim. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't even ch- you transition, just not your name. Right. <laughs> well, I heard that's a that's a lengthy you know <clears throat> court waiting line that you have to go into. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's a lot easier to change your name than <laughs> your moving gender. a penis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got I got a few dates set up tonight with uh, you know. Jody, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> but my thing is, I'll get the ones that have like Pam. Am, am, ambiguous names, like Stacy. That huh. could be a girl or a guy. Or Sam. Michelle. Sam. Pat. Sam. 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 Could be, yeah. Or, Jody could be a. Yeah. Either one. Yeah. Taylor. Yeah. I'll never trust a Taylor. Never. Only Swift. And right now I hate her because Travis Kelsey beat the Dolphins last night. <laughs> Seven to 26. It was brutal. All right. Well, since we just brought on brought up online dating, we can skip. You've got mail. Yeah. Yeah. In case anyone doesn't know, they think that that movie started online dating. We'll run. We'll run a couple more, and then we'll do a couple wrap up yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, so we got Minority Report. That one I still don't understand. Yeah. That we one don't have understand. clairvoyant people in pools. <laughs> Pre crimes? Are they saying cops are arresting people for the potential of doing crimes? Because we could all potentially be doing crimes. I'm doing a crime right now. In the future. Yeah, sure. As soon as you leave, crime's being done. I already had it planned. <laughs> he just but shro- if you choose not to do Schrodinger's it. Schrodinger's crime. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Schrodinger's crime. Schrodinger's crime. If you leave a gun and an innocent person and a bad person in a box, yeah. and you don't hear gunfire. The innocent person yeah. is alive and yeah. dead until you watch Tony. I mean, the, the yeah, evil Then you person. watch Tony. <laughs> Somebody. Yeah. Right, so what they're saying on that is, um, is also like, um, computer screens and everything that are hand gestured uh, to be manipulated. Oh, okay. Actually, that is that's on Zoom. It's a, a functionality yeah. of Zoom. That and it also talks about the um, you know the online shopping habits and the trackers and all that other because okay. everything was like um, uh, ID. Like whenever he walked into a store, mm. his ID would go off, and like commercials for that store would say, "Oh, Mister Yakamura, yeah, yep. would you like the Gap pants that you bought last week?" <laughs> Amazon does that all the time. Right. You want to buy again? Mm. Would, you like to, would you like to play a game? <clears throat> War games. War games. Oh, well, that's, uh, I mean, you have nuclear. It's almost like an, another AI type thing. Of I like that. Yeah, using. And actually, there are, there are military does use actual virtual games for soldiers. Mm-hmm. For training. For yeah. training, yeah. yeah. But they're actually make they're working. This is just a work on thing. They're looking to actually have like almost like drones, but training soldiers so they don't actually have to be out in the field. They would be controlling them. Mm. <clears throat> but I'm not going that far with it. I would just say. So what is that, it? Is it AI? That's what I'm getting. Uh, 
made the case that such hacking, while uh, intentionally in innocuous here, would become much more weaponized in subsequent years. So okay. cyber war. So yeah. So that's where it's going. It's more like cyber crime instead of just the AI portion. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I can see that. Hmm. Back to the future part two. This is when we go to the future. So we don't have the self-fitting sneaker that I wanted or flying cars. Yet, I did read an article the other day that they were they preparing to launch a prototype flying car. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I heard about that too. Um, well, they don't have the self-drying jacket or auto-fit jacket either. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this one's going to be another one of those where it's going to be like a little tidbit probably that most people don't normally think about. No, no. You guys were both, were both pretty, pretty accurate. Oh, the flying cars. So it's talking about well, not the flying cars. Hoverboards, part. they have. That's yeah. what they do have hoverboards. Huh? So it they says, called hoverboards. It says, There's segways without the stick. No, no, no. There's actual ones that don't that, that aren't on wheels that actually hover. They only hover very oh low. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, Tony Hawk had tested out a couple of yeah. them. They had him go out on on things. So he's got this board and basically, like you step on it, it will touch the ground when you first initially step, but then it comes up only like that much, mm -hmm. and it's like on the bottom, it looks like. It's not like the hoverboards in a movie. They're boards, but then the base, the ends are like almost like big speakers mm -hmm. is what they look like. Oh, so it's like... Um, it's like a fan system yeah, yeah, yeah. type thing, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So that's it, uh, is hoverboards and self-lacing shoes. Do we have self-lacing shoes? I, I still tie my own, so when did that happen? Yeah. Um, I didn't get the memo. Yeah, I, was right. like, I don't have to keep bending over to do this. It's the ones with the with the crank. Oh, the ratchet oh. thing. Yeah, so okay. like you basically press it, and it zip ties you. Like it auto automatically does it. Okay. So once you press the button, and then you have to screw well, it I off mean, to I, unlace I it. I technically have a pair of motorcycle gloves like that. They're ratchet. I just twist it, and it tightens up everything. I'm and then I just press the button and unleash. He's reading the fucking list. <laughs> Well, I'm saying they perfected the technology. I spent a lot of money on those ratchet gauntlets. That's literally what they're called. Ratchet gauntlets? Yeah. Yeah, like, they were like, although sadly the hoverboard <laughs> does not actually fly. <laughs> Ooh, Blade Runner. 1982. Well, I mean, if we don't have uh, simulants yet. Yet. Or whatever they're called. I think they're called whatever they're called. Simulants, yeah. Um, I mean, they did have well lie detectors. Yeah, existed lie detector technology, <clears throat> but that existed already. Yeah, but that so. one that one measures your, like your heart rate. I think they are doing ones that like measure the dilation of your eye and stuff like mm. that. Um, how close to the mark are we on? This could <clears throat> this could also be linked back to um, uh, uh, Back to the Future too. Oh, with flying cars. Mm -mm. Hoverboards? They didn't have hoverboards. Giant there. advertisements. Oh, personalized advertisements? No? Just advertisements? Like, so they're talking about uh, billboards. Okay. And so how in, um, remember Back to the Future where the shark comes off yeah. and like is yeah. 3D? Yeah, and 3D like, one. So that's what they're talking about. There was 3D. Oh, um, okay. Like they're, all of the advertisements were giant on mm. all these like side of the buildings. And you know many of them were 3D and interactive. Well, okay. they did a be better version of that in all <laughs> Party, but I will say that movie came out first. All right, fair enough. I haven't seen the second one yet, but I do remember the trailer. There was like a giant 80 foot hologram woman talking to Ryan Gosling. That's not good. Yeah, that's what I heard. I don't. I don't even remember this video drone. I do remember that. That had a uh, James. Uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Cameron? No, who well, actually was not Jim Jim Cameron. Uh, James uh, Woods. James Woods. And it was about, I remember he, there was a scene where like the hand comes out of the TV. I, I think it's about, not reality TV. It's it's all about the, uh, all about TV. I, I do know that. And like TV shows or something. Mm -hmm. And I got, I, I can't remember the actual full on premise of what I, I've seen the movie like a couple times, but it's been a long time. I think it came out in like 82 or 83 or something 83. like that. 83. Uh, does it have a little synopsis of the movie? Um, uh, featured a unique and disturbing form of user-generated television subverting the traditional network system to revolving around shocking acts of violence. Well, I mean, you have... I wouldn't say all our streaming services do that, but we do have streaming services now. I, so I don't know if that's where they're gearing towards. Or... They're, they're gearing this towards YouTube and like those 
like the Tide Pod Challenge and oh, like okay. shit. Yeah, it, yeah. Okay. But but well, they're ma- basically referencing YouTube on you know because I remember when I was coming up, like we'd always watch bum fights. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And so you could like have just some random person with a camera, and they get a bunch of hits on something stupid and violent. <laughs> mm. Well, it's not, and it's not full full violent, but like the other ones were like the people where they blindfold themselves and they tie the bottle yeah, to the, the bottle, fan, right? Or right. the or the. Tortilla slapping thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, basically hitting each other. Or in the, the, face. the with mouth. I don't know. I, I, don't like I kind of want us to do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Rock paper scissors shoot it. Uh, yeah. up, up. It's Tony. Rush and Bowie. <laughs> All right. So well, let's do one more. Okay. And then we'll have to get close to wrapping up here. In oh, a bit. Patrick's gonna like this one. Demolition Man. Oh, so what we took away from that movie is that Taco Bell is a superior fast food chain. <laughs> You know what? It's not on here, but I'm going to write it. <laughs> I'm going to, sir, please advise these edits. <laughs> and it was proven later, but start out in this that Rob uh, Schneider should only be a supporting actor. Yeah. <laughs> That's... Oh, actually, fun fact yeah. about that movie is for the international release, they had to change um, Taco Bell to KFC, I believe it was, because Taco Bell wasn't worldwide. Wow. So at least give us a small hint. Does it have to do anything with the justice system? Let's see. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're talking Demolition Man, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I was thinking Judge Dredd for a second. Oh. That's why I said the Rob Schneider thing. I apologize. Everybody scratch that reverse. No, Rob Schneider was in Demolition Man. He was the he was in like the police HQ. He, he was the guy who's like, he doesn't know how to use the three seashells. Oh, okay. That, that's right. He was in yeah. there, too. I'm, but I was thinking Judge Dredd because he oh. was the prisoner that was stuck with him. Oh, that yeah. That he had put in there. Um, so, wait. Demolition Man. Let me go back real quick. Uh... <laughs> so, is it about the three seashells? No. Okay, good. No. <laughs> Has nothing to do with toiletries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it, subconscious learning. So w- when he learns how to like knit and speak Spanish. Oh, when well, he's frozen. Yeah. yeah. No. No, but I like that. Oh. I mean, people do that with like sleep aids. Yeah, I tried, it in I tried That's to That's actually it. better than what they're actually going with. All right, give us give us an exam. I'm not going to figure it out. So it's like programming your your. Uh, it's kind of like going over GPS and self driving cars. No. Oh. Mm. So. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, so Stallone Snipes' self-driving car. Google has ramped up efforts to make uh, driverless vehicles a common part of our freeway experience, mm-hmm. with other companies delivering developing similar versions as well. Here's hoping they come with a pre-programmed GPS coordinates to take us to Taco Bell, the winner of the movie franchise awards. Called it. <laughs> Wow. So all you do is you get into you get into an Uber with no one driving, and it takes you to Taco Bell. No matter what de- destination you put in there, you're just it going just to takes the, you to Taco the, Bell. The closest Taco Bell. But you could reverse that because now they have Uber Eats where the food comes to you. Touche. <clears throat> it's not that so involves driving, a human. But, but I think I think yeah, this whatever. one's kind of going more towards like the drones I know, I know and, and that delivery. <clears throat> all right. Well, that was fun. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't agree with like most of those. Some of them are surprisingly. Vague. Surprisingly, I did like the Star Trek Four one with the transparent aluminum thing. I'm genuinely surprised. Yeah. I, I do remember that Scotty had to like advance the mater- like yeah. um, some sci- scientific research by like 50 years, and Doctor was like, "You can't, you can't do that." He's like, "Well, we need it, so <laughs> I'm doing it." <laughs> I couldn't remember what they were making, but I'm yeah. genuinely surprised you did. I haven't seen that movie in about 15 years. That was years. that's one of that, and that's been like one of my family's favorite Star Trek. It's my movies. favorite Star Trek. And the fact that they needed whales yeah. because that's what the sound was mm-hmm. from the probe was making. Right. Yeah. And then when they went to go find whales on Earth, and they're like, "Oh shit, they died out like a long yeah. time ago." <laughs> uh, not in this one. Yeah. <laughs> of all those Shatner movies, that's my favorite one. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, there is something on the wing. <laughs> But I did like in in a yeah when you were talking about that when uh, Doctor uh, Doctor McCoy mm. and he's in the hospital and he's like Bones. fixing people he's like walking by people and he just like yeah sits, <laughs> uh, sticks something in the one or does a little hypo spray thing mm. and they get up and they just start walking and stuff it's like how have they not fixed this bro? yeah. <laughs> So archaic. <laughs> Should remake the movie where they come back to 2024. They would all just get off and throw up. So they got they, <laughs> well, they got close. To, if you remember what they did in um in the in Picard mm-hmm. in that one season of Picard, they went back to that same. I've only seen the first season. They went back to that same year. 
Oh yeah, and if you remember the guy on the bus, the punk guy, yeah, the one that uh, that <laughs> Spock yeah did it. That's the same exact guy that was the punk oh. guy in that playing the music. Oh again. really? It that's, was the same actor. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> so, anyways, complete side notes. Uh, but no, that I, I did enjoy that one. That was fun. Yeah, it was pretty fun. But we do have a couple minutes left. Um, again, just want to throw out there, you know, to everybody, you know, check us out on all the social medias you know the facebooks the twitters the instagrams mm -hmm. uh, you know spotify anchor for our listening sources youtube youtube uh, <laughs> we also have our uh, email talk to us at movie uh, movie talks and chill .com. yep i'm still waiting on that email that i get to read out loud me too yeah i want to hear it me too dear I'm, guys i'm just gonna anonymously email him something weird <laughs> <laughs> i've said i'll read no matter what it says we whether are. or not we do what it says is a different thing <laughs> Why don't you guys go fuck your own faces? <laughs> well, <laughs> hashtag Les Grossman. <laughs> so, but yeah, check us out on all that. Also, you know, there are, you know, 30 other listening platforms out there. Whatever your favorite one is, we are on there. I can guarantee you that. Probably. Um, so we will be doing that. We'll give you as the months go on. We talked last time, you know, sunscreen's coming back up in only a few a few short months. Yep. Uh, so we'll get keep you guys up to date on that. Uh, remember, those of you who do listen to us or, or watch us uh, that are part of the film festival are submitted. The submissions have to be in mm -hmm. by March 1st. Yep. The final, final deadlines are coming up. As Doug said <laughs> last week, like he's already starting to make the lineup. Yeah. Like get it in sooner rather than later. Yep. Because um, you wait till March first, your movie better be good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know that's uh, for now for this week. Uh, that's all for movie talks and chill. We your hosts. I'm Tony Serrano. I'm Gavin Butts. I'm Patrick Wall. All right, guys, take care. Cheers. <laughs>